Haiti. The most impoverished nation in the Americas. 80% of the population lives below the poverty line. You, you have about 10 million people and you have about 2,000 doctors to care for them. Health care is substandard and in most cases virtually non-existent. You'll get an infection in a limb and because no one treats it, until it starts to smell with gangrene, all they can do is amputate it. For Jeff Randall, had no idea where Haiti was. A Utah teen three decades ago, he didn't even know the place existed. I was sent there as a missionary in 1981. He spent his mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints on the streets of Haiti. I thought I'd seen poverty in Mexico and, and had never seen the, the extent of poverty that I witnessed there as a young man. He was struck by the poverty, but overwhelmed by the joy the Haitian people found in life, despite the rubble of their existence. And to see these people who were so resilient and who had found a lot of joy and meaning in life despite their poverty really touched me. I fell in love with the people, fell in love with the place. <laughs> his two years altered his perception. Absolutely changed my life. Gave me direction, gave me a dream. He returned to the States, became a doctor of physical medicine and rehabilitation, and founded Healing Hands for Haiti, the fundamental goal to help Haitians disabled by amputations or born without limbs to regain their lives. The Haitian government has, has never worked quickly or efficiently for 200 years. In the beginning, he found his dream would not come without a few nightmares. As his fledgling organization was finding its roots, the LDS Church gave Healing Hands for Haiti a trailer full of medical supplies. His goal was to get it through customs at the port. The uh, bureaucrat there kind of looked at it and said, OK, let me see. That will be $40,000, and then we can release this. And we had, we had $4,000 in the bank at that time. He returned the next day. The price of the bribe was lower, but still a staggering $10,000. Dr. Randall decided to use compassion over coinage to convince the bureaucrat to allow the medicine in. You realize we're giving this to, to disabled kids who might die without this medical equipment. We're going to give it away, and we don't have the money to pay customs. The third day we came back, they said, just, just take it. And I knew that, that uh, if you were persistent and polite and, and didn't pay bribes, Haitians are, are fundamentally good people and they want to, they want to help their disabled. In a country that seems unsavable at times, Dr. Randall and his staff say it's the little victories that will change the landscape of Haiti. He tells of a little girl, wheelchair bound, one finger on one hand, ostracized from the other kids. And one of our therapists got some thermoplastic, heated it up, little Velcro, and made a little artificial thumb that strapped around her wrist. After a half an hour, she picked up the cards, first time in her life, picked up a spoon and fed herself for the first time in her life, um, picked up a pen, wrote her name for the first time in her life, and the next day we came back and she was sitting among her friends, playing cards, laughing and, and, and joking. If we can get them to see the value in the disabled, then they value human life all, all across the board and, and the whole country changes. Last year, a devastating earthquake ravaged an already fragile nation. I say Haiti was on the edge of the precipice and they're at the bottom of the precipice now. It took the destruction of that earthquake to unearth the devastating realities of Haiti's problems to the rest of the world. In the wake of the quake, Randall headed a group of doctors on a medical mission to the country. So the sun was just coming up as we got into the outskirts of Port-au-Prince and people were looking out the windows of the bus and saying, oh my gosh, look, this is horrible. And I said, we haven't gotten to the earthquake part yet. This is just how Haiti looks. Healing hand facilities were destroyed in the quake. Tonight they are rebuilding as Haiti struggles to rebuild as well. And honestly, it's going to take a huge Haitian effort, a huge international effort over years. Dr. Randall knows now more than ever it is the little victories, the tiny miracles, one Haitian at a time, that matter most. Where do I start? Well, you start with that little kid right across from you and you look at him and you say, what can I do to help you? We are, over time, with one little victory after another. Yeah.